Simply Trespass Incident Takes Horrifying Turn. Check it out. Get the fucking vehicle now! I think I just witnessed a killing at Lowe's. This chaotic scene erupted mere moments after Freddie Nelson and his wife Carrie arrived at the Delta Park Lowe's in Portland, Oregon. What may have started as an explosive argument rapidly escalated, turning deadly in the blink of an eye. Oh, the security guard just shot my husband! Oh. About seven months before this... I thought that was a cop. So was a security guard? Interesting. Pauling incident took place in September 2020. 49-year-old Freddie Nelson, a home renovator and woodworker, was stopped by two security guards after he'd loaded up his truck with wooden pallets taken uh, from behind Lowe's. The guards worked You know, it's funny because I see people do that all the time. You know, people who have their own trucks or business, they subcontract, and they do that. You have people that also that... that uh, pick up cardboards as well. Trucks full of cardboard you see down here in Florida, you know? For the Cornerstone Security Group, wrong which it. provided armed security and was hired only to patrol the parking lot. Because if you look at it, a lot of companies have to pay uh, other companies to come haul their trash off. A lot of these companies like Lowe's <clears throat> or either um, Home Depot don't mind like, you know, regular subcontractors, you know, people who just trying to make some money survive they don't mind them going and pick up the trash or whatever it's considered trash you know the cardboards or the uh, the pallets because that saved them money you know what i'm saying so i, I don't see anything wrong with it but lots hey. of delta park while it's unclear what happened prior to the security guard's body cam footage being turned on Freddie can be seen trying to leave. You sit here you. shaking. You're looking for a fight, man. Whatever. I can already tell that the adrenaline's pumping through you. You're ready. You're balling up your fist. <laughs> I get it. I see it. That's funny. I'm balling up my you fist. Hold my keys. You want That's funny. Fight. You just so you know what? I'm and so you're you, trying to agitate it. Right? He sounds like a degenerate. I don't. I don't see none of that. What he's saying right now. This man should be in jail, I believe. Now, you you're, trying be in jail. you're trying to agitate, right? I'm going to take you down. You're trying to agitate, right? Do you understand right? me? Yeah. Do you understand right? me? You're trying to agitate, right? Okay, at this Answer point, my question. Do you understand, right? me? Do you understand what he's saying? I do. Okay. Good. So, so are we done here? Are we done? We are done. Get in your vehicle. Leave that to park. Hey, look, I'm getting in my vehicle. She only needs to you're come talking, to you. You're talking to me. Okay. Get in your vehicle. <laughs> man, uh, you can tell he one of them dudes that failed at being a cop. You know what I'm saying? One of them flashlights, huh? Don't I see you. Get in your vehicle. vehicle now. You, I gotta go to work anyway. You That's go right. ahead. Go to work. Go to Kirby Avenue and stay on this side when you come back. Whatever. Could you please move so you're not blocking the road, a public road? One of the guards parked the red vehicle you can see in the footage, and it blocked Freddy's ability to leave. You wanna keep going, bro? I'll get out. You, no, I'm, I'm not. Step back. I'm not dealing with jail. Okay. You understand? Can you Step just back. Just because you're mad at me and him, do not give me the attitude. I'm, I'm apologize for that. On his side can like that again. I don't. Know, I don't really see where this guy had an attitude at all. <laughs> I, I really don't. It's um. Again, man, it's just guys that's taking their job a little too serious, bro. And it seemed like they got an issue with this this guy for whatever reason, you know. Maybe they wanted the palace. I don't know. Eventually moved his vehicle so Freddie could leave. But this was just the beginning of the volatile incidents between Freddie no and the Cornerstone security guards. Like that. In January 2021, Freddie was once again approached by two guards. They saw that he had collected more pallets and had left his red and black truck out front while he went inside the storm. All right. We can wait here. Out on this. Yeah. Okay. Because I, I, I know we've had this problem with them before. Doing this. So yeah. I think it's time to boot him off. Boot him off. Because we keep telling him. Are you saying you're excluding That's him? That's the one that got the problem yeah. with him. Okay. Right there. Because that I know that in the past we've told him not to do that. We keep okay. telling people not to do that. So 
other guys have been excluded now. Yep. Bigger, he's excluded. Yep. Man, you're not supposed to take pallets. I know. While the guards waited for Freddy to... Know, who is this other guy? He must be his uh, partner or something. He talking to... They both sound like idiots. Come to his vehicle, they took a look at how many pallets he'd taken. While they seemed to be under the impression that Freddy didn't have permission to... And this is the funny part. They let him take the pallets the first time. <laughs> and I seem to be a problem because he come back and get some more. Take the pallets. This wasn't the case. We're going to tell him, take those pallets, right. take them off site, mm -hmm. and don't come back until January, what's today? And then they're going to give him a day. Yep. January 15th, 20th. <laughs> right. That's right. Freddie had been collecting pallets from Lowe's for a few months at that point. I know you've kind of had a trouble with them in the past, haven't you, a little bit? You know? He doesn't. Yeah. We've spoken at Kirby Avenue a couple times. Mm -hmm. He really doesn't like us. Well. He's not gonna like us right now. Nope. But oh, so 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 this is the other hate. This is the other hate. We we spoke to him a, a couple of times over there at Curves. Wow. Yeah, no. I'd rather do a show of force on this guy than not. Wow. It was at this moment that Freddie exited the store. What's up? So, um, we see that you're taking pallets. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. manager. Right. Okay, so here's the problem. It's a property rule violation. Property rule So violation. this has nothing to do with Lowe's. Okay. Uh, we are gonna ask you to go ahead, take these pallets off for now, but the problem is because of multiple property rule violations in the past with other people doing it, people. we're having to enforce it to the point that- This is the thing, you gotta deal with it case by case. He's talking about other people. Okay, we talking about this guy here. What what do we got to do with other people? We're not going to let you back onto Delta Park Center property for the next year. Okay. Oh, well, I'm not allowed right now. Um, yeah, we're going to ask you to leave. Like I said, you can take these pallets, but uh, yeah, we can't have you, you can back on Delta Park Center property for the next year. Whatever. Take it up with Lowe's. What was that? Take it up with Lowe's. No, sir. You can take it up with uh, the property owner of Delta Park Center. I'm with Ryan. Know him by name. Okay. While this incident ended without issue, things would only escalate from here. What no one could have predicted. On April 19th, Freddie was once again stopped by a security guard while he was behind Lowe's, about to collect more pallets. No, you leave this property now. You leave the property now. No. Okay, whatever. Okay, turn around. I'm going to put you under arrest. No, you're not. You want to bet? No. You are under arrest now. No, I'm not. I just came out of the office. Nope. You under arrest? Really? If, if you know, I think, uh, I think he should have called the police, man. Seriously. Yeah. This guy, I think he is. You top. are trespassed from the Delta Park property. You are not to be here. I just came out of it. I don't care. Well, go deal with them. I'm not. I'm dealing with you. And no. you know, the fact that the guy is telling them that Lowe's gave him the rights to get the... Look at these pallets, man. Look at these pallets. It's trash. This man doing them a service. Anyway, the generate cop. Well, I'm not under arrest. Security. You will be here in a second. Cop. What's Master your name and ID cop. number? You don't need it. <laughs> so I don't even know you're a legitimate security officer. I am a legitimate security officer. How do I know? Because you, I'm right here. I'm, Is he right you here? Work for Delta. You could be anybody. You're right, buddy. I can, but I work for Delta Park. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. You work for TMT. Same thing. No, it's not. It is. They don't are not allowed And to be the here. fact that the man seemed to know what he's talking about, bro. This guy here is a real dick, to be honest. I'm pretty sure he should be fired, bro, in jail. It's not working. He should be. You are not allowed to be here. Whatever. You need to leave now. Because in the beginning, say, I think he the guy got shot. No, I'm not, I'm not going mistaken. to. An incident report from a week before this footage reveals that a security guard spoke to the Lowe's manager and confirmed that the company Freddie worked for was actually contracted to pick up the pallets. Freddie even showed the business card to the guard and the manager. 
The report claimed that the pallets were supposed to be picked up in a truck with the company logo, which Freddy's truck didn't have. Regardless, it seemed like the guards knew he had permission from Lowe's yeah, to be there, and yet no were still telling that. him to leave. Look at this hey, whatever, man. Yeah. You need to leave now. I got work to do. Leave. As soon as I'm done. No. <laughs> you don't even know the rules. I do. Yeah. You are trespassed from this property. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and turn Stay away. If you're not arresting me. You want to bet? Back off. You want to bet? Go ahead. I got the same thing you do. Yeah, well, then back off. No, I don't understand not going to. Why they, they According don't like to the, the report man. later filed after this dispute, the guard claimed that Freddie had a small can of pepper spray in his left hand. However, the footage shows that the can appears to be in his right. See, I, I just look at it like this. This is a guy that, because he seemed to look like a cop or have some form of authority, is is upset that this guy is not uh, just doing what he tell him to do. You know, he want to bully him. Maybe he was bullied in school. I don't know. But his bulliness is not working with this guy. This guy is more intelligent than him. He knows that, and he seems to have a problem with this guy trying to earn a living. I don't even understand um, how this guy even got this job, period. At hand, the guard stated that he then pulled out his own they pepper spray really for self-defense. You're not arresting me. You want to bet? No. Come talk to management. No, I'm not going to. Yeah. It's time for you to leave. Freddie then began walking help, back towards Lowe's. It's time for you to leave. You are trespassing from this property. They following in this man around. So this uh, they no, supposed actually to be, I'm not. They supposed to be watching the parking lot, making sure nobody's breaking in cars, uh, robbing anybody, people stepping out of stores, and you worried about a guy with pallets on the back of his truck. That by the way, have permission by Lowe's from management that they know about. But yet and still they keep claiming that the property of Delta, which the man just confirmed it was some other name, uh, seemed to have a problem with that. But it's only seeing like this security guard have a problem with this guy. I need you out here now, please. Not the fact that I, he's getting I can't pallets, deal with it. I can't. but the fact that he just has a problem with this guy for whatever reason, because he can't assert his authority over him, his dominance. You know what I'm saying? I deal with that. I need you out here. Can you call the police then? A lot of cops like that yeah. too. Um, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be arresting Freddy here. Yep, I need I need I need PD out here now. I can tell he was one of them dudes. You ever seen that movie with Martin, where where he was practicing to be a cop? He was watching all these little cop movies and shit. And he was practicing. I can't think of the name of that. That this remind me of that guy. I'm, I'm behind Lowe's, yeah. While Freddy headed into Lowe's to get management. The security guard aired his grievances to a bystander. He's he's trespassing from the property and he knows it. This lady don't know, have no idea so, what's going on. Anybody knows the rules? So going. unprofessional. He's not going to come back here without people, please, so. I'll tow it. <laughs> You'll tow it. Watch me. Watch me. Oh, no, that, this is what oh, he does. He, he, he want to be tough so bad, <laughs> but I tell you. Report from that day states that the Lowe's management did ultimately ask Freddie to leave, mm -hmm. but said that they would figure everything out so he could get pallets later. It appears that despite the security guards trespassing Freddie, the Lowe's management still expected him to come and pick up pallets. That's this what I'm This would become saying. very important later. The report also claimed that Freddie was trespassed on April 12th for allegedly stealing pallets, while other footage showed him being told he was initially trespassed in January. More discrepancies would come up soon. While the continued clashes between Freddy and the security guards were certainly distressing, things would only intensify from here. Once again, Freddy was approached by two guards, this time while he was in the front parking lot at Lowe's. Go! Get off the property! You need to get off the property! Dang that. Go! You want to play that f***ing game? Same guy, okay. bro. You can be here. You did nothing. He can't be here. 
I, I just can't have. believe this. It's, it's You've just... been excluded from Delta Park property for one year. You're now trespassing, sitting in the property. You are not supposed to be on Delta Park property. One, you've helped somebody get away from stealing. We have that document. You took a pallet. We have that document. He should be arrested. When this man helps somebody steal something, it seemed like every incident was documented on camera. How can he say that? This is a guy going above and beyond his duties as a security officer. Documented. We have you on camera several times. Gotcha. Exactly. We have you documented. Exactly. Everything on camera. You're not a and you know what? You know what? This company? This company should be out of business. This company, because of this idiot, probably lost their license. We've already talked to him. We've already talked to him. So either you need to leave or you're going to handcuff. You seem like they just got a bunch of wannabe. I don't know what the fuck. Okay, bro. Now. I don't know what they is. Okay. okay. Then okay, let's call PD. Let's call PD. Officer. Officer. You ain't no officer, dog. You are security, bro. What's up? I gave you my name. Yep. Oh, we have bolos out even for you. So, the security I guards you, didn't. I really think he a real cop. <laughs> in fact, have a be on the lookout for Freddy. The bolo shared with the Cornerstone security guard stated he has attempted to state he is an approved vendor for Lowe's, regardless if wow. he is or isn't. He is not allowed in Delta Park Center. Wow. Notably, while the bolo says that Freddy can be hostile, it clearly states that he's not known to be combative. The bolo also directs the guards to place him in custody if he does not comply with orders to leave the property. Everything came to a head on May 29, 2021, when Freddy parked in the Lowe's lot with plans to look at flowers with his wife. Within 30 seconds of parking, and before the couple had time to walk away from their truck, they were approached by a cornerstone vehicle. The security guard stopped partially in front of Freddy's truck, and an altercation that. immediately began, one so dramatic that witnesses nearby started filming. 28-year-old Logan Gimble, the cornerstone security guard, confronted Freddy and Carrie, telling Freddy that he was under arrest for trespassing. I'm not gonna say it, but just look at this guy's face, bro. Freddie apparently argued that Logan had no authority to arrest him. While this part of the argument wasn't filmed, Logan turned on his body cam soon after, capturing the rest of the harrowing incident. Off my property. You know you've been trespassed. You know you're not supposed to be here. You're refusing to leave my property? Nah, he had no reason doing that. Why nobody ain't calling the police? Somebody should have called. She, she should call the police on. I told you to leave property. I told you to leave property. You've been trespassed and warned multiple times. Did he just spray that pepper spray in there? He just violated her. You tried to hit me once! You move this vehicle again, I will fire! Logan immediately shot four times into the windshield of the truck, fatally wounding Freddy. Wow. I Unbelievable. Told you to stop it. You're not of Unbelievable. Call the authorities! Yeah, this guy should be arrested. There's no question about it. 
This guy should be in jail, man. Like, he took this, I mean, he harassed this guy over and over by these pallets that he had right to by the store to collect. Wow. Parties now! I told you not to move the vehicle! I told you! Sit to him screaming holler, bro. Like he, what's wrong with him? He insane. You Oh my god! You already tried to hit me with the vehicle once! And that is assault! You also use pepper spray! All of this wow. occurred in less than a minute after Logan turned on his body cam. In the immediate aftermath, a witness to the horrific event called 911. I think I just witnessed a killing at Lowe's. Oh, the security guard just shot my husband! Oh. Oh. Freddy. 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 It's so sad, bro. I told you, he tried to hit me! Let's just shoot him! Because he tried to hit me with a vehicle! Ah! That is a This man stood in front of him. Not only that, he sprayed pepper spray in there for no reason. Just to sort his authority. Because he had issues with this guy because he was collecting pallets trying to make a living for itself like him as a security guard. But for some reason, that seemed to irritate this guy to the point that it escalated into this man getting shot and probably died. All because he wouldn't do what he told him to do. Because he wanted to, like he owned this area. This is area. This is this is this is wild to me. They assigned this man to watch for robbers, thieves. You know what I mean? You should be watching to see if somebody breaking in a car or stealing out of the store. Not about some guy who's trying to survive that got rights to get pallets by management. And you seem to have a problem with that. Something is wrong with this guy. So with a deadly weapon! Can you call a safe one for us? He killed my husband! He should be arrested. He should be arrested. He just did! Are you on the authorities with them right now? I'm on mine with one right now. Told them that he's been trespassed I multiple times. I watched you. I watched you. Okay. We all watched you. Yes, he's shot. Yes, we definitely, I see blood. Yes. He's, he's, he's bleeding out. Okay. Do, I, I, do they want me to render aid? I don't know what to do at this do you, point. you want security to render aid? Do, are you on medical? What, what do you want them to do? I'm, I'm right here standing by. My, cam my camera's on. Everything's been recorded. Man, now you sound like he yes, murdered this man. He just oh. shot my husband! I didn't do You know he did oh something. God. That's sad. Yes. Man. She's hysterical, and rightfully so. Yes. He told you. I shot him four times because he he's, tried to... He's hysterical. She's hysterical, and rightfully so. You, she just watched you murder her husband. Yes, he shot four times because he tried to hit me with the vehicle. They're they're on the they're on their authorities with him right now. He locked his door. He tried to hit me and pin me between the vehicle. Oh, Ma'am, do you have a key a key to get in the car? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Ma'am, give me a key. Sad. Right away, Logan begins repeating his version of events. But there are some key specifics in his story that will be challenged later. And he said, stop, or I'm going to shoot you. And the guy tried to run him over again. He, he tried tw two separate times. Yeah, I know. And he's got it all on his camera. Take care of your husband. He also attempted to pepper spray me. Oh. He what? He also attempted to pepper spray. Attempted to pepper spray the cornerstone. Oh, 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 is that what that was? He yeah. shot out the window? Yeah. Yep. 
Wow. Notably, Logan doesn't mention that he first pushed a bottle of pepper right. spray into the partially right. open back window right. of the Nelson's truck and right. attempted to spray the couple. He's He's been trespassed by me, every security member on my team. He's been trespassed by the police, and he's been trespassed by the owner of Delta Park. So, did you hear all that? That's crazy. And he continues to yeah. come on property. Okay. While they wait for the police and ambulance to arrive, Logan makes a few questionable comments, seemingly talking to himself. God, I did not think I'd have to do that. Of course, they're gonna they're gonna sympathize with the victim. I think his wife is on the phone screaming. He got a script for this shit or something. That's what he got a script. You don't sympathize with the victim. I know, I know you're, I know you're trying to help. I just want to make sure that if there's anything I can do to help. They, they, they're apparently two paramedics. Okay. It's, this is out of my scope. I'm just yes. I'm tried to try to pin me between the vehicle right here and then tried to hit me right here again about try to pin him five minutes after the shooting officers arrive on the scene i don't know what you need me to do this is the first time i've ever had to do this okay oh, i had to had to discharge my firearm logan claimed he was the site supervisor responsible for all of delta park he then told officers that Freddie had attempted to hit and pin him between his own security vehicle and his truck. <laughs> the officers instruct Logan to call his supervisor, and he once again relays the same story, this time emphasizing a notable detail. He angled the car for me and tried to floor the gas, and that's when I fired. In the middle of the officers checking Freddy for signs of life, Logan makes this request. Uh, is there a way I can get tomorrow off? What? So I can, you know, process what the I just did. Okay, I, I, know we're, I know we're tight, but... A few minutes later, an ambulance... All oh, I had to, had to discharge my firearm. Logan claimed he was the site supervisor responsible for all of Delta Park. He then told officers that Freddie had attempted to hit and pin him between his own security vehicle and his truck. The officers instruct Logan to call his supervisor, and he once again relays the same story, this time emphasizing a notable detail. He angled the car for me and tried to floor the gas, and that's when I fired. In the middle of the officers checking Freddie for signs of life, Logan makes this request. Uh, is there a way I can get tomorrow off? So I can, you know, process what the I just did. Okay, I, I, know we're, I know we're tight, but... A few minutes later, an ambulance also arrives. I'm, I'm just speechless, man. I'm speechless. I'm speechless. Freddy, I love you! Eventually, an officer guides Logan. It just amazed me that somebody can lay dead. You just killed somebody. And you talking about you want to take the day off. You know we tight. <laughs> you know I don't. Uh, to sit in the back of a police vehicle. Oh my God, God, I did not think I'd have to do that today. After me, leaving Logan alone for five minutes, the officers returned to collect his firearm. Hey, bud. How's it going? Uh, go ahead and step out of the car. Is that cool enough back there for you? Yeah, it was a little warm, but it's all right. <laughs> okay. What we're gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take your firearm. You okay. don't have to touch it. Okay. Yep. We're just gonna wait for the texts and stuff. So it's okay. just kind of protocol when yep. somebody's in the back. Yep. So it doesn't say you're in trouble or anything like that. Yeah, I know. I I'm, I'm okay. where the process. There's a weird thing with my DPST. I got armed during the whole COVID thing. I mailed my stuff off, okay. and I have yet to get my actual card. Don't worry about it. But I do have the the gold paper or the yellow okay. paper that was issued. Excuse yeah, me. It. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Thing with my DPST. I got armed during the whole COVID thing. I mailed my stuff off, okay. and I have yet to get my actual card. Don't worry about it. But I must complete super day last month, one year from the date. Of last successful completed basic firearm course. 
on completion of refreshers training recruitment must complete marksman's ship and annual training annual training so he don't even have a card so that means he shouldn't even have a firearm right do you have the, the gold paper or the yellow okay. paper that was issued today? Yeah, don't worry about it. As it would turn out, this was an issue that Logan would need to worry about. The day after the shooting, he was brought in for a formal interview where he was read his Miranda rights and agreed to speak with officers. He tells them that he was in the Air Force for six years. Really? He was then asked to describe some of the things he dealt with working as a security guard. So would you say that you've been able to resolve a lot of situations using uh just verbal either verbally saying stuff to yep. people or the escalation use it it's a lot of time it's you know just being calm rational but if you're talking about the individual i dealt with he was he's been a problem for us for a really long time i was going out driving around doing my patrols right. and this guy his name's freddie uh he's been trespassed from our property before he's been trespassed by me he's been trespassed by members of the security team he's been formally trespassed i think the police we had to get the he, he don't sound so confident right now this guy bro this guy involved at one point and they went over there and formally trespassed him and then he was trespassed again by the owner of delta park because how the whole incident started was like months back when when the owner came what what what, what is happening because i must be missed that in the video somebody tell me where where the owner came Back. Uh, my guys were chasing a shoplifter out of these either marine fishermen's or dicks. I think it was marines actually. The dude stole a bunch of like knives and other tools. This guy, Freddie, drove by, opened up his car, and let the dude hop in that we were chasing, and then peel off with him. And so that's why we, you know, that's where the trespass started. A long oh, wow. This guy definitely, um, I'm pretty sure the detective is smart enough, right? I'm, I'm pretty sure because seemingly they had everything recorded on his body cam, somebody camera. None of that what he talk about occurred. Along with the other security guards, Logan had several prior verbal disputes with Freddie and had banned him from public areas about a month before the shooting. He would go into the back of Lowe's and he would steal a bunch of pallets from them because he has a little pallet company. Um, but they had no formal agreement with him at all. He had no okay from the manager. I, like, I went in to verify it wow. with him. Carrie Nelson, Freddie's wife of 30 years, was interviewed the same day she witnessed her husband being shot. And she told a very different story than Logan. But security has a personal beef with us. Yes. It says that we're stealing him but we have permission. So they've been harassing us for yes. like a month and a half yes. now. Mark Wilkins, the property manager of TMT Development, which managed the Delta Park Center, stated in an email that Freddie was not an approved vendor authorized to remove pallets. He also said that he spoke to Freddie and told him he was not approved, <coughs> but that he was only trespassed from private property owned by the landlord, not from public areas. In contrast, Logan claimed he'd banned Freddie from public areas about a month before the shooting. Everybody, most of the managers know us in there. So you have a contract with Lowe's to take the the, pallets. the spare pallets and, and use them for your own? No, we sell them. You sell them? Yeah. Okay. Where is the contract at? Do you have that with you or is well, it? We do have, it's just a verbal. Verbal contract. Yeah. Do you know who you have the verbal contract with at Lowe's? Oh, she works in the bag. I don't remember her name. Adding to the confusion, police spoke with Lori Sugarbeer, the receiving manager at Lowe's. Oh, I was not here the day it happened. I had no idea what happened, but I dealt with this for like, I want to say at least a month before the incident even happened. And I was working with TMT, or trying to, I mean, emailing TMT saying, hey, this is the person I want Freddie Nelson here to pick up our flag pallets. They're right. trash to us. We don't ever right. do enough business. Bro. Bro, listen. <laughs> I do this kind of work all the time. And 
majority of the people that I seen or I know that pick up pallets, I ain't talking about the crackheads now. The crackheads, <laughs> they, they actually steal the shit. But even so, a lot of them even have approval by the stores because this stuff is trash. They will literally have to pay a company to come and get this shit. So it serves the store to allow these people that, you know, are respectable, not just anybody, you know what I mean? Because, again, that, that would create a, a little confusion. You got everybody coming in trying to, but they, they, they allow certain people that they have trust with and, and relationship, built relationships and respect with, and they allow these people to do that because it helps the store, saves money. Anyway, official business, um, like contract. Okay. But we do try to find time, someone man. who can come and pick up our pouts. So that's, what, that, Florida, that, that's right? the gist of what I was trying to get TMT to and authorize. And I know we did rounds every, of every little hustle counts. You feel me? TMT saying, "Hey, this is the first time I want Freddie Nelson here to mm -hmm. pick up our flag pallets. They're trash to us. We don't ever do a an that's official business." Um, like you contract, feel? okay. But we do try to find someone who can come and pick them up out. So that's what, that, 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 that's the gist. We of what do try to find someone that could come out and pick them up. So this is what I'm saying. They, they, you know, they not everybody can come in and do that. But they, it, people, by word of mouth, will say, "Hey, you know, I know this guy. You know, he been uh, picking up trash for years. Man, never had no problem. Seemed to be a good guy. You know." If, 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 you know, he might come by your store, you feel me, and ask you guys about him. He's cool. I mean, whatever. However the word gets out, most people know the people in the neighborhood. I'm pretty sure you guys know some people in the neighborhood or have seen people in the area that does this. You probably don't even know them, but you've seen that particular truck or that person. And you say, oh, shit, well, you know, he pick up trash. He probably do this for a living. You know, some of them even make good, good money, better than... People that have jobs, you feel me? Because it's always trash. It's always trash. Anyway. What I was trying to get TMT <sighs> I, to authorize, because I know we've been rounds with security here saying we can't have anybody back here. And I'm like, mm. well, you're impacting my business because I right. really need these picked up. Mm. I emailed TMT, and a week later I emailed them saying, look, we're having issues with Freddie and the security group because whatever, you know, I have no idea. And every time I dealt with them, they were, they were seriously over aggressive with Freddie because he was literally just standing there with me and I was having a business conversation with him. Uh -huh. And they, they, would, they would just zoom up and be like, you have to get off this property right now, Bob. And I'm like, yeah, you know, he hey, we're just trying to get this well resolved. And deserve, going every single time, Ryan, I was like, why are you guys just attacking this guy? Yeah, I don't understand. There was no formal agreement. It was just sort of like you had identified Correct. Freddie as a person that you were willing to let um, take the pants from the back of the store. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so that's sort of no no formal agreement. She just identified. Probably was somebody you know. Hey, good guy. Dude never had no problem trying to feed his family. Oh, sh this the guy. Oh. Oh, I see he got his wife with him. They look cool. They you know, they don't look like they don't know drugs or anything. Or like they, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, let them, let them get that, man. You feel me? They're helping us. We ain't got to spend no money. You heard me. They good. Security, they good. No, nah, this guy, he just went just above and beyond. And he just had some kind of hatred in his heart for this guy because he couldn't have sorted his authority. I go back to that point. He wanted to be officer, whoever the hell he Your responsibility was. in some way is to was. manage the, the pallets not being there anymore. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I manage all the trash here. Yeah. And how many times do you think that you were with Freddie uh, when Cornerstone Security had contacted him? At least three times. Did you tell them that it was fine for him to be there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I told him, I said, no, you have to understand, I'm working with Freddie. I have been working with Freddie. I've done wow. this, you know, before they, this all happened, before the, even the first Oh, yeah, he's going to jail. Them. All of them. And that, that company. Rory also added this. That company. Was there ever an issue with Freddie stealing pallets from you guys that you know of? No. Okay, no. so you've never, you Absolutely would never. Absolutely not. Every time I authorized him to take the ones that were, because he was there. And I'm like, hey, can you just take these 30? 
who started getting on to him about it, like, you know, you're trespassed, you're supposed to leave. And so what he would do is he would just come to, come on our property and Hold sit on, in what his say? FYI, Freddie is now teasing security by driving on his property, but not stepping foot out of the vehicle or parking. This is between Cornerstone employees. These boys gonna set up a so every day they just I, I just I, it just I, Car, I, just like, I, I, I can't I can't bro just put around because he knows he's not supposed to be there but we can't do anything when he's in his car we've yeah. never had and not even a piece of paper saying we've been trespassed we've never had a date of when we've been trespassed we have no idea when we been trespassed. It's unclear if Freddie had actually been given a formal trespass order. Regardless, Logan explained his version of events for the day of the shooting. I was driving by, I saw his car pull onto our property, so I go over there and like, hey man, you need to leave, you know you're not supposed to be here. Like, I don't know how many times I have to tell you. He gets out of his car, I get out of my, turn my camera on, get out of my passenger side, my driver's side door. I was like, you know, turn around, put your hands behind your back. You know you're not, you know you've been trespassed, you know you're not supposed to be here. And he like looked at me and was pretty much like, you. He pulled in front of us and like blocked us. He told us that we have to get off the property. And who is he? The security guy. Do you know his name? No. Can you describe him for me? He has dark hair. He's an asshole. We've had quite a few runs with him. And I call him an asshole. And then I'm calling the cops because I'm sick of this bullshit with you guys. You guys are harassing us. I'm gonna mace you. Freddie got out of the car. And um, he said, put your hands behind your back. Freddie said, yeah, right. And got back in the car and um, grabbed his mace. But if he would have just gotten into his car and just left, I would have I would have left it at that. Investigators asked Logan to clarify why the situation escalated so quickly. He was reaching for something inside. Okay. Uh, I didn't know what it was. I know that he's made threats against us multiple times before, and I didn't want him pulling a firearm when I was by the side of the vehicle, so that's why I sprayed into it. Okay. And what was your hope to do when you, I mean, what was your intent when you sprayed in there? Um, what were you? Protect my safety. Okay. Like I said, I didn't. Protect your safety. You could have gotten your car and left. You could have backed away. He had, he had his mace, but I don't think he had a chance to even fire it. So Freddie had some pepper spray as well. <laughs> yeah. Did he have a, a knife or a gun or anything like no. that? No. No. The main points of contention were the brief moments before Logan fired, and this time, when he tells the story, he includes something new. And I was going to step like towards my car this way so he could I, I thought he was just gonna drive yeah out this way so I start walking this way he angles oh, the hood of the car towards oh, me did. trying to pin me in well, between they got no body cam. his his truck and my patrol vehicle but I stepped to my right and he narrowly missed you said he angled his tires towards you he yeah he turned the whole car and went forward towards me and um you were able to step out of the way and avoid being hit mm -hmm. or were you hit by the car? I think, I, I don't know, I think he might have like tabbed my hip wow. or like got, like I felt something push up against my hip, but no damage was done to me. Okay. I, I got out of the way quick enough. Yet at the scene, Logan clearly states something that contradicts his new story. You already tried to hit me once! Did your vehicle strike the security guard at any point? No. I don't think, How? I don't think so, I know. <laughs> no. While it's unclear if Freddy's truck actually hit Logan, he can be seen in the footage briefly touching the vehicle with his hand when it nears him. However, the most important piece of Logan's story was something he mentioned quickly in interrogation. Like I heard the engine start to rev and then that's when I fired. Okay, four shots into the left side or right side. Despite his claim the engine revved, the truck doesn't seem to move before Logan fired. At the very least, Logan's first shot was almost simultaneous with the truck beginning to move. Get the f out the vehicle now! You already tried to hit me once! You move this vehicle again, I will fire! 
Uh, just walk me through what your concerns were because my uh, personal safety. Yeah, hundred percent. Okay. It's this job is not worth my life at eighteen dollars an hour. Sure. So I'm going to do everything I can to make sure I go home. But at the end of the day, I also don't want to have to send somebody else more or less in a home in a body bag. Notably, Cornerstone's use of force policy states that quote. Nothing in this policy requires an officer to retreat or be exposed to possible physical injury before applying reasonable force. The autopsy revealed that Freddy was shot in the head, the left wow. of his chest, his right shoulder, and in his thoracic vertebrae. He died at the scene. Were you scared? Were you? Um, or were you? I wouldn't really say I was scared, but be, that's only simply because of my, my military background and, sure. and all my training and stuff like that. While Logan had completed his armed security training through DPSST, Oregon's Department of Public Safety Standards and Training, he didn't have formal certification as an armed security guard. This meant that he was not licensed to carry a firearm at the time of the shooting. The Cornerstone Security Group later admitted that along with Logan, Two more of their security guards weren't certified, but were carrying firearms. Wow. Logan wasn't charged for Freddie Nelson's death until December 2021, more than six months after the shooting. At trial, Logan claimed it was self-defense, and that after the truck struck him, he got tunnel vision and didn't have the ability to recognize an alternative action to wow. deadly force. Wow. Logan was eventually found guilty of second-degree murder unlawful use of a weapon, and two counts of second-degree unlawful use of mace. He was sentenced to life in prison with the possibility of parole after 25 years. Justified. Following this, Carrie Nelson filed a $25 million civil lawsuit. And she should get it. She should get every damn penny. Every goddamn penny. Wow. I tell you what I take away from this is, guys, you gotta gotta relax and not take things so personal. This just was a guy trying to feed his family and was killed, murdered by somebody that wanted to assert his authority over him, and then try to lie and cover up from. Him. Is is ridiculous, and you know what? She deserved every fucking penny. It's ridiculous for wrongful death and negligence against the owners of the wow. property and Cornerstone Security Group. It appears the case is still ongoing. All right, man. To next one, man. Peace.